Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to start off by thanking everybody for the amazing response we've had on YouTube. Um, thank you everybody who's subscribed, everybody's just viewed the videos, absolutely phenomenal. I, I really am amazed by the response and it just makes uh, everything I do was worthwhile anyway, but it just is the icing on the cake, it's just fabulous. Um, thank you very much. Okay, I would, today I would like to, um, we've had loads of questions about the um, composting toilet and that setup. So I'd like to do a video that's just purely around the composting toilet, how it works, um, the, the solar powered shower, all that sort of thing. So without further ado, we'll dive right into it. Well, not literally, obviously. Okay, so we're starting at the top. That's the um, the composting toilet there. It's got a, um, a fiberglass roof with turf planted on it. A um, bit of an experiment because it was um, grass seed in, in rolls of material and I laid them out and it seems to have worked quite well, but could do with um, deeper soil if I was honest. And then there's a solar panel on the roof, which I will um, let people know what that does later. Okay, we'll walk down quickly don't want to waste people's viewing time there's the roundhouse okay there's the chimney right so we have a shower on the left and the toilet on the right um, we're completely off grid so it's a composting toilet um, and what we'll do is start with the toilet, how it works, how successful it is or it isn't. Um, and then there's a, a nice little storm lantern up there, which provides great light. If we look inside, there's another storm lantern there. I'll just, there's a hook on the back of the door. The other thing I've had to do is because we get awesome winds here, I put, um, a gate closer on the door which um, helps if the the wind comes off the mountains there and it'll hit here at 100 mile an hour and the gate closer just takes the sting out of it if you're opening it to go in here okay so the solar panel on the roof um, goes into that box there and then we've got a charge controller so it's making tons at the moment because it's a beautiful sunny day um, we'll follow that through later. Um, the the we're going to go into some detail here. So um, it's all clean. I've just cleaned it all out. So um, you're not going to see anything horrible. Um, the composting toilet um, set. It's made of fiberglass. The, the toilet pan, and it separates the liquids and the solids. So the liquids um, are at the front. So gents either sit down or aim at the front and the solids obviously go through the back there now the the idea behind that is if it stays relatively dry it doesn't smell and then we flush with just pure wood ash so the chimney and the fire in the roundhouse create the ash we clean it out put it in there and then that just goes on top of your doings and it stops it works really well we tried sawdust and the sawdust wasn't really successful it took too long to um integrate shall we say with the um poop and so you could just got smell um then we've got the paraffin lamp there and a little fuel bottle for filling them up and then a hand sanitizer and a disinfectant if it wants to be used but next door we've got a tap so um that is basically how the composting toilet works we'll go around the back later and i'll show you um how it's emptied and the systems we have in place for the actual composting so next we move on to the the shower this is <laughs> Um, a bit of a mad design but it works and it works really well so that's um, two beer barrels beer kegs 
made out of stainless steel from a scrap yard and um, we just put clean fresh water in the top one which you can see there then there's a tap for changing the water if you want to or washing your hands after the toilet um, and then we'll delve in underneath and we've got um, now the solar panel above and the charge controller charges that motorbike battery and that runs just an ordinary pump from a caravan and that will um, pump more than enough water for a shower and then we've got you can just see the fire above an ordinary paraffin heater from a greenhouse and that will run two weeks on a fill up now it doesn't actually create warm water I mean you know like hot steaming torrents but it just make it sort of not doesn't make you scream when you have a shower shall we put it like that and then to turn the shower on there's a tap a tap a switch on the side there there's a waterproof switch but it's only 12 volts anyway if I turn that on and run then you can see the water comes out of the ceiling rose there and I'll move back because I'm getting soaked and you can see how that all works and it gives you a really really good shower no problem at all just turn it off without getting too wet and that's how that works now if you want a shower with a view we've got a, a, um, a little pulley system there and a rope and so Oh. <laughs> that's the problem with doing it one handed <laughs> it wasn't quick enough with the rope but you can see the view you can have in the shower which is awesome so I'll um, we'll go outside there's a bird feeder up there so you even get company while you're in the shower you can see that panel and the, the doors are stable doors so you can have views in that way and that way okay so we'll go around the back and so uh, behind the toilet there's a, the 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 wee goes to a soak away underground and um, that's no problem and then we open the door here and I pull out the just bear with me a second pull this out, I have to be careful where now I've just changed this so this is just what I'd call a 5 gallon 25 litre plastic container with the, set, with the side cut out and then a composting compostable bin bag and then um, and that's underneath we're going to show people where you never get to see underneath the toilet so the the plastic cam box with a bin bag in it sits under there and then the wee just goes down that pipe there so very very simple but incredibly effective now when depends how much you use it but when that's full um, you just take the bin bag out and put it in an ordinary um, big wheelie bin that I bought for the for this job and that um, composts over about a year so you need what I'll do is is I've been doing this for getting on for a year so and it's only half full but when once that's full I'll buy another wheelie bin and start filling that one and then by the time the second one's full the first one it'll all be inert there'll be no smell no harmful bacteria and that can be spread on the land um, yeah I probably wouldn't use it for growing vegetables but it should be it should in theory be no problem because it's only got ash and composted human waste in there and it does go in there eventually so um, anyway thank you very much I hope that's answered a lot of people's questions um, on how the the toilet works so it's it's the toilet is just pure composting 
that uses the ash and the shower is um, just uses the sunlight from the solar panel above and um, um, a, a 12 volt motorcycle battery okay well uh, thank you very much for bearing with me and uh, I hope you enjoyed that video and um, if I can um, think of other videos if there's any suggestions of things you'd like to to see that I've been doing um, I've got some chairs I'm going to make shortly but uh, once again thank you very much indeed and um, thank you for all my subscribers and the people that have watched the videos it's just been amazing absolutely outstanding thanks for all the lovely comments okay thank you very much bye now